Hi guys, so last time on Food with Dottie we made a delicious peach cobbler. We're using the peaches from our backyard peach tree and you guys liked it. He sent me photos on Twitter and Instagram. It looked really good. So I thought we'd do another recipe using some ingredients from our garden in the backyard. We have two raised beds back here. This raised bed is devoted completely to squash and zucchini. So I've already picked some patty pan squash. I think these guys are a really funny shape. I'm not going to use them in the recipe today, I just wanted to show you. We're going to use this giant zucchini we picked the other day from the garden. And uh, usually when vegetables grow too large and you don't pick them in time, they lose a little bit of their sweetness. But this is going to have some help from some other ingredients when we bake it into our zucchini bread. Kevin has actually modified some of the recipes that we found and I think he's come up with the perfect recipe for zucchini bread. It's my favorite zucchini bread I've ever had. So we're going to make that today. I'm going to go ahead and grab some eggs from the chicken coop, some fresh eggs, and we'll get started. So first I have preheated the oven to 350 and now I'm going to prepare my giant zucchini. I only need two cups of grated zucchini. I'm not sure how many this will make. We're only going to use two cups of it though. I'm just going to cut it to make it easier and then I'm just going to use a cheese grater to grate it. I don't know if you guys have ever made this before but you'd be surprised how sweet the zucchini actually smells. I remember making zucchini bread with my grandma and you have a mixture with like eggs and sugar and zucchini and it would smell so sweet and good to me that I didn't want to eat it raw even though that probably would have been really gross. Okay, I'm going to pack two cups really tightly. I'm going to put that in a bowl. Okay. Alright, I've put all the zucchini into a bowl and now I'm going to add one third of a cup of water. One cup of vegetable oil. And four fresh eggs from our chickens. Then I'm going to mix that all together really well. Okay, now that we've mixed all our wet ingredients, we're going to mix the dry ingredients together. I have three and a quarter cups of flour. And originally, the recipes we found called for three cups of sugar. This is going to ultimately make two loaves of zucchini bread. But it called for three cups of sugar. And after making several batches of this, Kevin found that using one and a half cups of sugar, so cutting the sugar in half, makes a much better tasting zucchini bread. So we've cut the sugar in half. We're doing a cup and a half of sugar, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. We'll just mix that all together. Now we're ready to mix our dry and wet ingredients. Just going to pour them into the same bowl. Probably should use a bigger bowl. And then we're, I'm going to use a wooden spoon to fold in the wet ingredients over the dry. All right, after you've folded all of your ingredients together, you can no longer see any of just the dry ingredients. It's all one big mixture. You can pour it into two little baking dishes. We've already greased these dishes, and we're only going to fill each of them halfway because they're going to rise once you bake them. And remember, we have our oven baking at 350. So I'm going to pour this in. And now we're going to let them bake for one hour. And then we'll come back and check on them. Alright, my favorite way to enjoy the zucchini bread is for breakfast, toasted with a little bit of butter on top and with a nice delicious cup of coffee. So this particular batch is also really good. I think you guys are going to like this recipe. You should try it out and send me photos of your versions of it. Let me know in the comment section below what other recipes you guys want to see me make. And uh, I'm going to finish my awesome zucchini bread. I'll see you guys next time.